Hi, everybody. Brian from Witch Doctor here. I have an update to the primer sorting test that I've been conducting lately. This time I utilized the Federal 205s and the Federal 205 match primers. Went ahead and grabbed 200 of each, sorted them. Um, from over here, you can see this is the Federal 205. This is the frequency of the primer sorted by weight. Uh, there were 27 out of the 200 that were sorted at 3.66 weight, 78 at 3.68, 84 at 3.7, and 11 at 3.72. Here's the 205Ms. I had 27 at 3.66, 32 at 3.68, and 61 each of 3.7 and 3.72, and then only 19 of 3.74. So interestingly, this is a lot different than the CCIs. The CCI match or bench rest primers had a lot less variability in their weight, whereas with these Federals that I have, there is less variability um, with the non-match primers. So that is an interesting finding. Um, I did get those 205 primers from a really uh, good bench rest shooter who I know, you know, is <laughs> bought things in the really good lots of primers. So, um, and I bought the 205 matches uh, just from a regular store outpost. Didn't really look at the lot number or care about it. Just went ahead and bought them. So I suspect that maybe these 205s are out of a quote unquote better lot than the 205 M's that I have, um, which may account for why the 205s have less variability in their weight. Let's go to velocity. And the same pattern emerged that I saw in the CCIs. Uh, definitely the greater the weight, the faster the velocity. Uh, here with 3.66, with the Federal 205, we're showing 3352 feet per second. And uh, on up there to around 3360 for 3.72. Same thing with the match primers. 3347 with 3.66 and it goes up um, linearly to 3364 um, at a 3.74 weight. Uh, both of these uh, are linear trends um, and definitely are consistent with what I saw with the CCI 450s. With the BR4s, I saw a pretty flat trajectory. Um, there was no real increase in velocity as the weight went up. And I think that's because there wasn't much variability at all in the weights themselves. Standard deviations, let's look at that. And we have here for the 205, boy, this thing just wants to move to the left here. <laughs> All right, well, interesting. Uh, something's going wrong with my computer. I'll hold it in place. <clears throat> with the 205s, um, the standard deviation from 3.66 was 10. And as you can see, they were all just about around 10. There was no real linear trend. The standard deviations were the same. Same thing with the 205Ms. The standard deviations were about the same, but I did have one much higher here at the 3.72 weight with 13.1 uh, standard deviation. The only double digit one that I had with the, with the match primers. Um, you can see here with the graphs, overall the match primers had lower standard deviations. So that may be uh, an advantage for the 205 uh, match. Extreme spreads, kind of the same thing as the uh, standard deviation. No real linear trend, they were all about the same. Um, except here in for the 205 at 3.7, we had one at 33, whereas the others were 23 or below. With the 205 match, um, we had three of them in the teens uh, and then two in the 20s. So overall, uh, 205 match tended to have a lower uh, extreme spreads. Looking at the group shot, there it goes. <laughs> Again, no linear trend here. Um, the groups were um, about the same, except I did have one large group uh, with the 205 match and the 205 here with a 3.68 weight. So 
both the 3.68 weights tended to have larger groups for whatever reason with the 205 and the 205 M uh, in the fours. Um, whereas looking at the tails here, 3.66 and 3.72 for the 205 had the smaller groups. And we had the same thing go on here with the match. 3.66 um, had the smallest group out of the match primers and 3.74 um, were the two smallest ones for the match primers. Okay, so in conclusion, overall, we saw very similar results to the CCI primers, uh, especially the 450s where you see that, that linear trend in velocity, the, the heavier the weight, the faster the velocity. Um, groups overall uh, were, were better with the BR4s with this load, and uh, I was using LT32 powder. Um, what I do have to tell you definitely is that I did not um, work up the load with the um, federal primers. I worked them up with the CCI 450s and found a good load with LT32 and the Hottenstein uh, 66 grain bullet. So I'm suspecting that maybe the group data for the 205M, I could improve upon that if I actually went out and, and tuned with um, those primers and the LT32. I suspect maybe a little bit of a, a heavier charge um, may be ideal for the Federals. Um, I'm not exactly sure. I'd have to go sort of, you know, out to the range and, and do some load development with them. But uh, in general, though, you can see, though, that there, there is a spread in terms of weight. And there is a velocity difference with the Federals. And uh, you can shoot small groups with them. I mean, I did have um, some groups that were really small with the Federals. I had a 0.151, a 0.193, and a 0.2. So uh, definitely very capable primer. Um, I did not see the difference from the 450 to the BR4 um, with the Federals, though. Uh, it looked like the standard Federal primer and the match primer performed um, almost the same. It does, I do with the match primer, uh, see that the standard deviations and the extreme spreads were lower. So there's probably more consistency in those primers. Um, and so overall, um, pretty good. All right, everybody, thank you for tuning in. Please subscribe, like, and share.